Hey everyone, we are here to talk about how to build a card game and there are many different types of card games but we're going to focus on a couple of the more prominent types. First of all, there are those card games that use a basic deck of cards and even a slightly not so basic deck of cards like Uno that would fall into this category. There are those other card games, however, which use a more spe specific deck of cards like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, those kinds of games, Warcraft. Um, in those cases, you've got a deck of cards where every card is unique and they have certain fixed properties. So, we're going to talk about uh, how you create the card class in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to create in Unity an empty game object. And we're going to name this card, you know, we'll call this uh, deck manager because this is going to hold the deck of cards. And we'll add to it a component, which is a new script, and we'll call that new script deck of cards. We'll keep it nice and simple. It'll do exactly what it's supposed to do. So this deck of cards, when we edit it, it's supposed to create a card class. And the first video in the series will show you just how to create the card class. We're not actually going to populate the deck of cards, but we'll talk about the differences between certain card classes. So right now, this is opening up in Visual Studio. Um, you cannot see it because it is off screen, but I'm going to move it over very soon. Here we go. And I will make the text nice and large so we can see. We need to add a line up here at the top using system because we are creating a new class and we want that class to be serialized so that we can view it in Unity. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in brackets serializable. That will let the computer know that we want this class to show up in the inspector. Next, we're going to give this class a name. So we'll make it public because we want it to be public, public class, and we'll call this card. You can call it whatever you want, but let's just call it card. If you're making a standard deck of cards, a standard deck of cards only has two things that it really needs. It needs to have the number value and it needs to have a suit. So in that case, we would just create a public int value and then a public, and we want it to be a suit, right? Well, suit isn't a perfect variable type. We can't make it a Boolean or an integer. So let's make an enum. An enum will take all of these words that we put in and turn it into an int. So we'll make public enum suit. And then in braces, we want to put all the different types of parts, clubs, diamonds, spades. And then go ahead and put a semicolon at the end. And when you do that, you also want to create a actual variable of the suit type, public suit. So now we have a card variable, which we could then use somewhere else. We could say, public card, this card, and then we could say this card dot suit equals, we could say this card dot value equals, and we have access to that variable type. If you wanted to use a more specialized card, you could always add other properties. For example, if we go back to the picture, we've got a an attribute here, we've got a, a type, um, possible effects, an attack, a defense. You could very easily add other things like public int attack, public int defense. You could do public enum attribute. You just pick whatever um, would be most appropriate for your variable type. We could do fire, water, air, earth, and then public attribute ATD. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So um, this is the basics behind creating a card uh, class and hopefully that will help you in the future because this tutorial series will show you how to create all of the essentials for a card game. Hope you guys love these videos. There are more to come. Be sure to watch all three different playlists because I'm going to break this up in a part. This playlist is talking about the card class and then there are two more playlists which you will definitely want to watch. Catch you next time. Like and subscribe and see you later.